my yeah. god! One more, one more. He's down? Oh. Well, Lamont, I'm gonna get him! Oh! Pussy! You weren't that hard the first time either. I can't even tell if I fought you before, man, but, like... Who? Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Dia and welcome to some Modern Warfare 3. I'm actually on time for a update for once. Like I'm, I'm actually like on time. And so today is the season one reloaded update that comes with Modern Warfare 3. We have a bunch of new things to look at. So we're going to take a look at those as well as we'll play like one game. Fortunately, today's going to be a bit of a shorter upload. I just don't have the time. I'm actually going out to celebrate a birthday with one of my friends. So this video will either be out today, which is Wednesday, or tomorrow on Thursday. And you guys are going to get to look at a bunch of new stuff. So we have Rio 24-7. We have the new map, Rio, which came out. It's got kill confirmed, domination, hardpoint, and TDM. From the looks of the colors, I could see me playing this map quite a bit. It reminds me a lot of like a favela map, at least in the color scheme, but I have no idea what it looks like or what it plays like. That stuff. We also have a brand new event. You guys see the top is in six days and 18 hours. The event will leave it's called the boys soup takedown and so we have a bunch of challenges we can do warzone or modern warfare 3 multiplayer challenges i'm just gonna go ahead and do the multiplayer challenges we've got the boys which is get three operator kills without reloading seven times get five operator or kill five operators affected by electric shock in the boys mode got 10 operator tech stance kills using the kvd enforcer so that's gonna be a little annoying but collect 25 temp five syringes in the boys mode get 25 operator melee kills with the black light flashlight equipped is that an is that a new melee weapon i'm probably gonna have to look but it might be a melee weapon and then we've got just seven win seven games and then we get this death to soups uh i haven't seen the boys but it i see a bunch of highlights and stuff on instagram and it might be the next really nice show i watch we also have the battle pass here and we got a season reloaded i ended up finishing out the battle pass because i stopped accumulating battle pass exp and i had a bunch of tokens in my bank so i just i spent them but we have the hrm9 this looks like i mean based on just its design this is this might sound really stupid but it looks like it sh doesn't really shoot the it looks like it shoots pistol bullets instead of anything of a decent caliber so this might be a little weak and make up for it with good rate of fire so i won't be able to get any of this this video uh but i'll definitely be playing in like my free time and i'll get some highlights from when i'm trying to do these challenges Oh, there it is. Black light flashlight shows recent enemy footsteps. So we just have to, so it's tracker. We have tracker in the game now. So all I have to do is equip this, get 25 melee kills and that's it. Okay. This, yeah, this shouldn't be that hard at all. Yeah. We're going to play this one game of Rio and we're going to check out the map and then I'll be able to come on next time. We're going to end up using this, my MCW class with, I'm going to run the storm ender just because I can start leveling the gun. You know, I can shoot things out the air and stuff like that. I actually haven't used this gun at all. I feel like a lot of people running the the, MC, the same mcw class so i'm not really gonna talk about it but i know a lot of people like to run a site so and i'm not yeah i have the reflexes of a fucking baby just above 60 degrees in my basement the, my basement doesn't get really any heating from from anything it doesn't get like a heating the rest of the house gets essentially and so when i come home from work with the heat because i have the heating off to save money i end up kind of just kind of just freezing my ass off i will say though having this having this uh c spawn looks like hell it looks like absolute hell on earth if you can't if you can't break the spawn decently it looks really fucking annoying overall early impressions i do like the map i do think it feels like like a good map i can i can like it feels decent it doesn't feel like something we're used to but it also feels familiar if that makes sense can i hit this thing oh i like i'm not gonna i like the way this thing feels it it's just quick and it shouldn't be super hard to shoot down a shrieks like this seas this seaside has a decently long staircase as well as an escalator so, but so does this side and i'm telling you coming up right up this c spawn actually looks abysmal because at least to challenge the a side you have to you have to come down these steps the c side you can just like from this from all from the entire way up the steps oh. doesn't kill really what okay <laughs> okay I was like, that didn't kill him on any of those shots, but 
I guess it just affects, you know, electronics or whatever, I guess. <laughs> it was tickling him. He's probably, he probably came back to his PC, like, or his computer or whatever. Like, what the fuck? No way my teammate pre-fired that, ran behind the pillar, and just baited him in off my dead body. You know what? Fuck it. I got him. Okay. I somehow killed him with that. I fucking just called that shit in randomly. I slide cancel a shit ton. I don't even mean to. It's just trying to get my hands warm, but my hands are fucking giga freezing. Oh, and I can get them as they leave? Yeah. That's okay. I like that. No! He was about to run past him! Also, why am I running a munitions box? Oh, no! Kill him, please. How lose? Oh! No, dude. I still got that guy! <laughs> well, this game is close as shit. They're definitely gonna play for this B flag. I saw him. Pretty sure you guys can tell I am still not, like, the most comfortable on controller, but I'm, like, I'm having fun. I genuinely enjoy it more than playing PC. Like, 100% enjoy it more. Also, I didn't talk about this, like, at all during the video, but I definitely want to talk about- bring this up, and I might talk about it on the next video, actually. They, this update stops trophy systems from destroying cruise missiles. I'm 99% because they talked about that in the patch notes. I think that update came out today. That update is so fucking good. I have been wanting this change for so long. For those of you who don't know, and like, because I don't talk about it really ever in the videos, it's ridiculous how something this, that goes from my foot halfway up my fucking shin, or maybe even my knees, stops something that is probably 300,000 of me. Yeah, overall, I thought the map was cool. Uh, I really, I actually really do like the way that flows. It doesn't seem like a super stagnant map. It seems like we kind of go back to that three lane style once again. Um, that everybody's been really enjoying. I know, I think Greece goes to that style. Fingers crossed we keep up with this because I, like I said, I really like this map. Yeah, thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. If you guys did enjoy, it, make sure to leave a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. It also lets you know if you're enjoying the content. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future and hit the little bell notifications to get notified anytime I upload a video. Until next time, this is Dia signing off. Fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.